So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to apply trig functions and inverse trig functions to word problems. So there are two new terms that you will learn in this lesson. One is the angle of elevation. So both of these terms, you're always going to first assume you're looking straight ahead, creating a horizontal line. And the angle of elevation is looking straight ahead and then looking up. So the angle that's created from looking straight forward and then looking up, that is called the angle of elevation. So you notice down here, this is the gals in the boat. She's first looking straight ahead. And then as she looks up toward the fellow up on the hill, that created an angle of elevation. And you notice if we drew a line down straight down, that would create the right angle. So the angle of elevation is going to be inside the triangle. So in this diagram, this X marks the angle of elevation of the top of the tree as seen from a point of view on the ground. So the angle of elevation, we look straight forward and then we're going to look up to see the gal in the tree and that creates an angle of elevation. Now angle of depression, it is looking again straight forward first and then you're looking down. And that's what creates an angle of depression. And again, let's create our right triangle. The angle of depression is on the outside of our, tri of our right triangle that we're considering. In the diagram, X marks the angle of depression of the boat at C from the top of the lighthouse. So the gal at the lighthouse is looking down at the boat. First, she's looking out and then she's going to look down and creating an angle of depression. So the angle of elevation is congruent to the angle of depression. So you guys have learned about parallel lines with a transversal and it creates lots of angle relationships. And one of those is alternate interior. So you're inside the parallel lines and you're on the opposite sides of the transversal. So this was my angle of depression. This is my angle of elevation. They are congruent. So let's look at a few examples. A nursery plants a new tree and attaches a guy wire to help support the tree while its roots take hold. A height foot wire is attached to the tree and to a stake in the ground. From the stake in the ground, the angle of elevation. So here we, here's the angle of elevation. Um, from the stake in the ground, the angle of elevation of the connection with the tree is 42 degrees. We're going to find the height of the connection point on the tree and we're around the nearest foot. So we're trying to find from where it was connected to the ground. So let's decide what trick function we're given. So this is our angle of elevation. It's our reference point. So X is the opposite. And then we have 8 is our hypotenuse. So that is going to be the trig function sine. So the sine of 42 degrees is equal to x over 8. We're going to cross multiply. And x is isolated, so now we're just going to use our calculator. And we're going to have... 8 times the sine of 42 degrees. That gives us 5.353. It says round to the nearest foot. So let's, we're going to say X is about 5 feet. From the top of a fire tower, a forest ranger sees his partner on the ground at an angle of depression of 40 degrees. If the tower is 40 feet, 45 feet in height, how far is the partner from the base of the tower around to the nearest tenth of a foot? So a couple of things. We can use this angle and know that it's congruent 
to this angle, so this would be 40. So we know those are congruent because they are alternate interior angles, or we know that this angle here is 90 degrees, so we could subtract 40 from 90, and we know this is 50. So we could use 50 as a reference point, or we could use this 40. It does not matter. So I'll just do the one with 40. So this is going to be our reference point right here. So the opposite is 45, and then we have adjacent. So opposite over adjacent is the trig function tangent. So the tangent of 40 degrees is equal to 45 over x. We're going to cross multiply. And then we're going to isolate x. So x is going to be equal to 45 divided by the tangent of 40 degrees. So I'm going to use my n over d feature, 45 in my numerator, tangent 40 in the denominator. Try that one more time. And we get 53.62. It says round to the nearest tenth. So 53.6, and that is in feet. Find the shadow cast by a 10-foot lamp post when the angle of elevation of the sun is 58 degrees. Find the length to the nearest tenth of a foot. So here is the angle of elevation since our, our triangle. And we have opposite and adjacent. So that's tangent again. So the tangent of 58 degrees is equal to 10 over x. We're going to cross multiply. We're going to isolate x. X is going to be equal to 10 divided by tangent 58. So I'm going to use my n over d. We have 10 in our numerator, tangent 58. Our denominator is 6.24, round to the nearest foot. So 6.2x is equal to 6.2, and it is feet. A ladder leans against a brick wall. The foot of the ladder is six feet from the wall. The ladder reaches a height of 15 feet on the wall. Find the angle the ladder makes with the wall round to the nearest degree. So we are trying to find this angle measurement. So really, we could say that if someone was here and they were looking out, this would be the angle of depression. So we're trying to find this angle measurement here. So what we are given is opposite and adjacent. So the tangent of some angle measurement is equal to 6 over 15. We're going to undo tangent by taking the inverse of both sides. So x is going to be equal to the inverse of tangent times 6 over 15. So we're going to do second function, second tan, and then n over d, 6 over 15, 21.8. It says round to the nearest degree, so 22 degrees.